to my brand new channel this will be around data structures and algorithms okay this channel is basically dedicated to all those people who are interested in interviews um, interview preparation for product based companies uh, for good investment banks and for decent service based companies as well so just to give a brief about myself okay um there are a uh, numerous of channels uh, you can see but why i have started this and a, a brief introduction of myself uh, my name is sanjeev and i have worked with a um, lot of top notch uh, product companies investment banks um, some service based companies as well so i have a um, very clear understanding of what is expected in the interview and how actually interviewers grill the candidates and where we lack actually uh, that that particular gap i want to fulfill in this particular set of series um, what you will be see me seeing in coming days so to start with <clears throat> uh, the interview preparation first you need to understand why are you uh, going to a particular company or why you are going to join a particular company mostly product based companies um, ask only data structure algorithms and system design okay so when i say data structures and algorithms um, they come as the course uh, inside the bachelor of technology or be um, they they are basically structured in a way that they tend you to think in terms of um, the memory okay in terms of computer memory computer organization and other stuffs so uh, folks uh, it's it, it it would be like very much uh, an ice breaking session this one okay and you will be coming to know the whole structure and pattern uh, what you are going to see across this course and believe me now um, i have got a uh, a list of questions which i believe that gets repeated again and again in the interview maybe not the exact um, syntax not the exact semantics of the question but you will see a more of a similar type of a pattern so once you are able to crack that pattern it is it is more likely to you know you will be getting to solve all those questions so it may be from geeks for geeks it may be from lead code and uh, there are there are n number of sources nowadays and from you can pick it from anywhere and probably the patterns are going to be same it's just that the semantics and the wordings of the question that will differ okay so just to give you a brief highlight of what this course would be around okay so the of course the first thing will be data structures and algorithms okay when i say data structures and algorithms it will be again um, basically divided into two parts one will be the data structures and the other will be algorithms okay so this will be the basic thing what uh, this course will come um, cover up and then probably the most important uh, and the most demanded things uh, that are now in prevalent with uh, both leadership and non leadership roles now when i say leadership i mean l5 l6 l7 in amazon google and all those and uh, staff software engineers as well they they come um, handy uh, these to uh, become more and more handy when you have a lot of equipments to deal with uh, lld and hld so <clears throat> just to um, no um give you a, a a brief about what exactly uh, we will be covering up in low level design and high level design so this will be basically oops concepts okay and then probably it will have uh, design patterns okay then it will be having design principles so uh, when 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 i say uh, oops principles design patterns and design principles these cover almost each and every aspect of uh, designing a software so when it comes down to uh, taking up taking up a particular problem uh, inside uh, computer science you first you know, tend to solve it in terms of high level design and after that you basically break that problem into oops concepts 
um, and then design patterns and so on and so forth so the this will be a complete package of low level design and also it will be covering high level design which you see mostly um, uh, over the web like there are a number of um, high level design questions that are very much common okay say for example you, uh, we will be designing facebook we will be designing something like instagram okay zoom webex and uh, what not like swiggy and all those things okay so this is uh, this is what uh, the basic overview of this particular um, structure of course what we'll be dealing with right um, so we'll be starting with uh, the data structures algorithms and we will go into the depth of it like we will not just scratch the surface we'll just go and solve the real problems what is being asked in the interview and as i told that uh with with my level of experience and whatever the interviews i have faced and um, probably i have uh, cracked uh, uh, big investment banks and product based companies as well so this will give you a very clear picture of uh, what is being asked and how you should go about it okay so let's uh, uh, let's look into each of them in a bit of depth okay um like what exactly we are going to cover in data structure algorithms and what exactly we will be um, covering up inside inside the um, uh, algorithms part basically okay so the more important thing what i what i what i think uh, we should focus on is algorithms that they are the like core of all the product based company interviews okay so when i say uh, algorithms okay so you need to first start with the basics okay the first basics is the time complexity right so you need to be very much equipped with all the things that has required to be solving time complexity this complexity of a problem so this will have some maths okay don't worry these maths will be not very much um, um, uh, only calculations and all these will be mostly graphical forms okay we will be seeing all the algorithms and all the data structures in visualized form that will you know, ease you out understanding all these things okay so so when i say uh graphical form so just for an uh just for an example say what i what do i mean by graphical form so when i say uh the time complexity of an algorithm is o of n it may not make that much of a sense but when i draw that particular graph right um so it it says that uh, whenever you are uh whenever you are doing some input based uh plotting onto a graph it basically tells you that it varies linearly so that when the input increases it basically increases in this particular fashion what is shown in the graph so this is basically n graph what we are seeing over the uh, over, over the image on, over the uh, screen so similarly we have uh, we need to be uh, equipped with all those uh, mathematical representations of um, of different graphs uh a bit that will help you in analyzing different algorithms how they work and how they perform internally okay so having said that uh, uh let's let's jump into um, a, a very basic uh, model of data structures okay so algorithms i'll go we will first deep dive into algorithm tools there will be time complexity there will be some maths involved there will be again uh, there there are some other tools as well like when when i say other tools it means uh, some bit manipulation which are very very important uh, in 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 interview perspective with respect to the interviews of both product based companies and others and similarly we will be uh, focusing more on sorting searching and uh, and others as well like the, the this is very uh, like uh, what i will we will be starting up that these are those topics like searching sorting bit manipulation and time complexity and when we delve deep into um, into the data structure part so data structure part we will be covering uh, a lot of important data structures i will not go in a sequence which is being taught in the colleges and which is being taught in the schools okay um i will be going in some different fashion uh when i say different fashion i will be going with uh, uh with 
the mostly asked questions in the interviews so first will be say trees okay the second will be graphs third will be linked list fourth will be dynamic programming okay fifth will be say this is again a programming approach not a data structure okay so uh, be aware that i have included in the data structure list but it's it's probably uh what do you say um uh a programming paradigm okay um then we will be covering most important uh most important aspects of strings okay then arrays and one last thing we will be covering which is very very important for the interviews and they keep on asking that that is collections and streams okay so we will be touching base upon the theoretical part okay when i say theoretical part you what you what basics you want to know uh, you will be having to know to basically solve any problem inside it and then probably when we uh, know the basics we'll be solving some problems probably uh, mostly uh, easy ones medium ones and hard ones uh, uh, i will be focusing more on medium ones because i have seen you know, medium medium questions are more and more asked and more frequently asked uh, rather than uh, the hard ones and the easy ones so both uh, easy ones you can practice by yourself when you are done with the theory and probably uh, the hard ones will we will be solving few of them but uh, keep that for last like solve all the medium based questions and then probably you can come down to the hard ones so these are the sequence of things okay um, and i'm quite sure that if you go through uh, these problems what we will be discussing in this course you will be able to crack almost uh, most of the interviews so yeah this was an ice breaking session okay this gives you a uh, overview intro about uh, what we are going to learn in the coming days and uh, and of course we will be maintaining a proper sequence um, so that you are not facing an e, uh, not facing any forward referencing thing we will be trying to keep everything linked and uh, just keep a note on uh, the posted videos and you will be able to you know do very well in the technical interviews yeah that's it uh yeah see you in the next session uh bye bye